Hello everyone, today I want to highlight the new character Alekino in some Abyss 12 gameplay. I'm not going to do a full run, I save it for whenever the new 4.6 Abyss releases. But I wanted to do this right now and really quickly after her release because I made some wrong assumptions about her gameplay in this video in case you have seen it. And I basically was um, relying on outdated information about her skill kit. First of all, the bond of life granted by her elemental skill is way higher than I thought and second of all I completely missed that she can lower the elemental skill cooldown by just consuming bond of life with normal attacks. This means the burst skill is not a very high priority just to reset the elemental skill cooldown. She already lowers it enough by just pressing normal attacks. So you can basically just use normal attacks and elemental skill to keep her rotations going and then just whenever you need healing use her burst skill. And that's basically all the burst skill does at all for her. So it's very much like Hutao, I guess, in a sense. It does hit quite hard also. So again, very much like Hutao, in my opinion. While I'm at it, I quickly show the build. When I do the full run, I will probably do it with the four star weapon. But for now, I just wanted to pick the best build I have. Because obviously, right now, we are still gated by weekly boss materials. We only can upgrade her skills to plus 8, her normal attack, so this should counteract this and like simulate like a 4 star weapon at plus 10 is what I'm hoping for here. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into it. And I just picked some vaporized team with Alekino here, where she lived we go and then i think shield characters are still really good for alakina because you don't have to solely rely on her burst skill to keep her alive so zhongli would be great i think you could even pick something like kokomi here for hydro resonance to scale yelan's damage but i will pick toma because i need zhongli in the second team with my navia the opener is kind of like I expected it to go. You just press the elemental skill to apply the blood depths and then they will be upgraded to the blood depth use while you switch to your other characters. These guys do a lot of damage so it's a little bit unfortunate that we have to do it with the character. And first of all you activate the um, pyro infusion with her charge attacks. But again she takes a lot of damage here so I was pretty greedy here and held the elemental skill very long. Uh, sorry, the bear skill, I mean, for healing. But I got my elemental skill off on these two, so I should have the blood depths upgraded. Charge attack again to upgrade. Eh, uh, to infuse. Yeah, it's a little scary since she can't be healed. You're definitely a little bit scared of dying. Especially um, since these two guys um, do a lot of damage and they also... I think they apply like um, the bleed effect, I forgot what it's called. I guess I heal quickly here just to, to top myself off for the next chamber. The Snavia team, I actually built her rear very recently because I needed something with Electro Resonance because I think just feeding her, oh, I forgot to press the first skill. Just feeding Navia a lot of um, shards is better than having two different elements in this team and triggering other reactions. Yeah, this is pretty smooth. Otherwise, I think Duri is pretty useless. <laughs> but I messed up my rotation here, obviously. That's still good enough. I didn't crit. She has 80% crit rate, I believe. I forgot to turn on, on the music. It's so weirdly silent here. <laughs> I guess I do this next fight with Alekina and then I, I quit out and... Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> There are a lot of pyro resistant enemies here, which is obviously a little bit awkward for for this team. But it's fine. We have Yelon and Kato. Speaking of, they need to deal with us. And I don't have enough energy. 
That's not good. There we go. I guess oh, I can do this and apply the elemental skill again. Now this is awkward because now my Yelan will run out right when Alekino is ready. Uh, actually, I just wait these two seconds. That was actually not terrible. <laughs> not terrible at all. I heal quickly, press the elemental skill again. Yeah, right. I guess I just quit out here and again, I think she is also really nice just for overworld exploring because keep in mind she also has this nice charge attack that just allows her to hover over water or just move quickly. So I think she is a really cool character. I think she is very strong and I think um, she's very unique. So again, I will upload more different videos showcasing different teams and whatnot. So stay tuned for that. Until then, have fun and bye bye.